Without a yes vote on Thursday, we will become the hangers-on of the United Kingdom. We will become the nation that didn't have the courage of its convictions. We will become the nation of peculiar people who are trotted out to tar up some sort of British ceremony like trooping guards or something at all like this. You were the managing director of an electronics company. Where do you think you'd be doing your managing directing? Anyone in the world, I suppose. I don't honestly think it would be an East School Bride. You'd be, have your branch factory up there and you may reach middle management in East Kilbride, but if you were going to the top of the tree, you'd have to come south. Devolution can't actually get to the root of your particular problems, which is 183,000 people unemployed, no prospects, lack of investment in industry, lack of, the, no. lack of powers to direct the Scottish no, economy. No. If devolution can't do that, why don't you want to no, try independence? No, no. The people who are as far down in their hopes as that at the moment, they're unwilling, perhaps, uh, you know, to try anything that's a bit radical, because you know better the devil you know. But that changes. That changes. I'm terribly dangerous. I'm terribly greedy, because I'm really sick to the back teeth of seeing unemployment figures which show over 200,000 Scots out of work. And if you can justify to me the accusation that it's greed for me and other people in the Scottish National Party to want to see young Scots in jobs and able to lead a decent life in Scotland, then I will accept the charge of greed. But, but until you can prove to me, until you can prove to me that by managing our economy in Scotland in a much better fashion than it has been mismanaged from Westminster, then I will accuse you of cowardice. You are afraid to face the future.